Stand him up. Good. With these 10,000 war horses, our troops will now be more formidable. For yeah. Well done. Don't mention it. All I did was welcome the princess. But I'm concerned these horses will need a great deal of grassland. I've issued an order. The lush pasture in the north will be the new home for these 10,000 war horses. But then the locals there will be forced to move elsewhere. Please do consider that. We need horses to protect the locals. The locals can support themselves. No need to discuss this more. Your Majesty, today's your wedding. I'll leave you as you are busy. No rush. I rarely have free time. Faye, let's enjoy the hot springs and play chess. Yes. Thank you for your hospitality. Hmm. <sighs> Sir, do you know why I've asked you to come here? Hannes, you want me to help you? Kill someone, don't you? Based on the matter that you asked me to look into earlier, I would have to presume that the man you want me to get rid of would be Prince Jin, correct? It seems that you are almost a prophet. That's why on Prince Jin's wedding day, I sent Yudza to lure him to the Master of Justices. Yudza assassinated his family and set him up, so it looked like he was responsible. Why assassinate someone on my side? While my mother is still alive, the Minister of Justice served our family faithfully for years. Why kill him and his family? Tiamo. <laughs> you are a very capable young man. Tiamo. Greatness requires sacrifices. I think Mr. Gu did the right thing. He has guts and courage. <laughs> I'm flattered that you think so. Prince Jin is growing increasingly powerful these days. I don't think the death of a Minister of Justice is a matter the Emperor considers that important. Your Highness, if you truly want to get rid of him now, you can do it quietly so no one knows. You can find someone who outranks him and is more powerful after they kill him. They can find some reason to justify it. Do you mean my father? Yes. Murdering Prince Jin with a borrowed knife protects you. 
No one will know you wanted him dead. So, the ones who must die have to be the people who are close to you. But that's... <sighs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. We will do it, Mr. Gooseway. Uncle! <laughs> Thank you, my lord. I'll certainly help to finish this task. Faye, uh, you were badly injured while fighting the war. You protected Tianning and risked your life doing so. I really owe you one. It's my duty, sire. I'm both an official and a royal prince. Of course I should try my best. But I feel ashamed that you were anxious in court because of me. <laughs> it's not your fault at all. You served our country well, but you hold the highest position. There are none higher. I know you are not interested in fortune or treasures. How about I give you the land you conquered, and also the title of Duke? I can't accept. Past wars are fresh in my mind. I dare not be a sinner in history. You just rest a while. We all need rest sometimes. As you wish, Sai. <sighs> I'm 
I'm not good at this game. Excuse my poor chess skills. <laughs> You're too modest. Your Highness, it's your first day in the palace. Why hasn't Emperor Tianhui come to see you yet? Will he come to greet you here or not? Just be patient. Although he may suspect me somewhat, it's my first day here in the palace. He'll honor me with a visit, I'm sure. His Majesty arrives! <sighs> Greetings, Your, your majesty. majesty. May Your Majesty enjoy long life and blessings. Do rise. Thank, Thank you, Majesty. majesty. <sighs> I've always heard of your unrivaled beauty. And now I see... The rumors were all true. Thank you, Majesty. But I'm only a weak woman. If I want to keep your company, my appearance isn't enough. I hope I can be there for you to talk to, to alleviate your worries whenever you're feeling troubled. Good. If you're so considerate, that's enough for me. Majesty, you came here rather late. You must have pressing court matters. I made a pot of tea while I was waiting. This is Xianhao tea from Xichou. Please taste it. The scent is intoxicating. It's clearly good tea. I'm glad you like it. It's your first day in the palace. I came in late for being occupied by court affairs. I hope you're not mad at me. No, of course not. Why would I be mad, Majesty? You rule the entire country, and every day have pressing matters to attend to. I'm elated you came to see me. How could I be mad at you? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. With your company, what else do I need? Your Majesty, it's my duty to share your worries. I'll feel content as long as you occasionally think about me, Majesty. Majesty, it's past midnight. Oh? Already? I have affairs to deal with. Have a good rest tonight, my dear. I will come to see you tomorrow. I bid you good night, Majesty. Highness, would your reaction offend Emperor Tianhui at all? <sighs> Mislin, throw that away. He won't be upset, though he's not the one who personally killed my father. He is still my enemy, after all, so how could I not hold a grudge? He must be aware of this. Just now, he stared at you before his servants at the time. Why didn't you ask him to stay with you tonight? Don't run before you walk. The Emperor is paranoid. The more impetuous we are, 
the more suspicious he'll be. Let's take our time. Now our priority is to ease all of his suspicions. After that, things will be easier. But it's obvious that Emperor Tianhui was attracted by your beauty, your highness. Beauty doesn't last very long. Besides, as you saw just now, though my beauty attracted him temporarily, in the end, he still left anyway. That's how this man is. That's why we have to be extra careful while we're here. I would like a drink of toast to you. I feel sorry for you, Highness. The Minister of Justice served you in Chancellor. He clashed against Prince Qin for many years. And Prince Qin was at the scene when his family was murdered. It's obvious he's at fault, so why didn't His Majesty punish him? He's powerful and just returned in triumph. People like him. Even His Majesty must respect him. Highness, doing this is declaring war on Prince Qin. You should know there's no turning back after this. What else can I do? Prince Shin is always overruling me. Sometimes even, my father has to do what he requests. He killed my man, but the murder has not been declared because that's not enough evidence. My father doesn't bring it up now. So how could I say anything? <sighs> this matter is upsetting. Let's not discuss it. I acquired a batch of tribute tea the other day. I've shared it with you. Only my father... And my grandmother could drink this. What good tea. Please don't tell others about this. Oh, of course. Of course. Thank, Thank you, you, Your, your Highness. Highness. My lord? My lord? My lord? My lord, my lord, my lord! The Justice Minister, Chief Advisor, and Commander of the Guards have now died. The Justice Minister's murder hasn't been solved, and now two other officials are dead. Who dares to murder my top officials while I am on the throne? It's outrageous. They obviously don't fear me at all. <laughs> I don't care who the murderer is. Find him! Get to the bottom of it! He'll pay for this! Yes, Majesty. He leaves early and gets back late. I don't even see his shadow, let alone his naked body. <sighs> it has been ten days now. What should I do? <sighs> Greetings, my lady. Miss Zhao. 
Are you not happy today? Oh, I'm all right. You don't have to worry about me. Actually, his highness is nice. It's not difficult to get along with his mum, either. They've just had a lot of troubles lately, so they are distressed now. After a while, they will be more friendly. I heard his highness was recently framed, and now some other officials have died. Is he being investigated? <sighs> his mother is extremely worried about the whole thing. It said His Majesty put General Mu Ching Wu in charge of the case, but no progress has been made at all yet. His Highness is busy all day, probably because he's trying to clear his name. Not many people in the capital are capable of murdering an entire family, and His Highness was caught at the scene, so he is the obvious suspect. Plus, now that these two other officials have died, it's hard for the prince to clear his name. Yes. I heard that the officials were all murdered by some mysterious and unknown poison. His Highness would never resort to a shameless method like that. <gasps> all poisoned? That's right. Since they were all poisoned, if we know the poison, we'll know who did it. Why haven't they figured out what the poison is? I'm not sure about that either. Didn't you say you have enough doctors so I'm useless? I will prove myself to you. First, I need an excuse to get some info from that poker face. Uh, since the prince is working hard, could you prepare some chicken soup? I'll bring it to the prince myself. <laughs> you should have done that long ago. His Highness will love that. Uh, I'll go make it now. <gasps> the coroner said they were poisoned. But he doesn't know what kind of poison it is. The Royal Hospital assisted in the investigation at His Majesty's request, but even they couldn't figure it out. You can come in. Highness, I see you're exhausted, so I brought you chicken soup for your health. Give the soup to Sifeng. Oh, Highness, allow me to serve you. Hmm? I'll take my leave. Leave if that's everything. Highness, I have some news. Speak. The new princess from Shichio is sophisticated. Shortly after their young prince ascended the throne, he killed all the high-ranking officials with power and his uncle. We have to keep a close eye on him. Also, I heard... General Bai Li is making steady progress. He has leads on the corruption case. What about the Emperor? I guess he won't reinstate you until the murders are solved once and for all. Meanwhile, he's using this chance to eliminate our allies. So now, I believe Chu Ching Go arriving could be to our advantage. The Emperor is paranoid. He must suspect that Chu Jingge has ulterior motives marrying him. But he will give us a break if he's busy dealing with that princess. If there's nothing else, you are dismissed! I have something to report. Your Majesty, the investigation into the murders of the three important officials has lasted for days. The murderer is still at large. I hope he is brought to justice for the dead's sake. I have put Mu Ching Wu in charge of these matters. Is he present now? Yes, Majesty. How's the investigation? We've inquired at 
all the pharmacies and hospitals in the capital, but no one knows what kind of poison was used. It's mystery. Therefore, we aren't able to figure out who made it. Please forgive me for my incompetence. Father, I don't think Junior General Mu should be blamed. There are no clues other than that the witnesses at the Minister of Justices. I'm sure General Mu has done his best. Your Majesty, the facts are obvious in this case. Why hasn't this case been closed yet? Is it because the suspect is Prince Qing? Everyone must be treated equally under the law. Your Majesty, please make it right. Majesty, the facts seem to be against Prince Qing at the moment, but there's no evidence that proves Prince Qing killed these three men and is the murderer. Majesty, Prince Jean was seen at the Minister of Justice's manor that day. The other two officials were murdered soon after. And all were Prince Jean's opponents. Isn't it obvious? General Mu deliberately hid the evidence to shield Prince Jean. You dare slander me? I'm just telling the truth. Mind your manners while you're in court. Chancellor, what is your advice about this matter? Your Majesty, it seems to me that what the two ministers said is true. Now Prince Qin is the primary suspect. If you don't do anything to Prince Qin right now, people may start to grumble. But we don't have solid evidence. So Chancellor, what should I do? Your Majesty, in my opinion you can first suspend Prince Qin and take his authority. Then after more evidence is discovered, justice can be served. Faya, what do you say? Qin was rather hostile to Fei Ye. Hmm. <laughs> Prince Qin defeated Si Chiu. Of course she's hostile to him. But if Consort Qing wins favor later on and brings down Consort Xiao, then perhaps Long Tian Qing will fall too. <laughs> Let's wait and see what happens. But yeah, I hope that you're not upset about what happened in court. I had no other choice. When Mu Qingwu reveals the truth, I'll make sure that you're reinstated. It's all right, sire. I also hope that everything will come to light very soon, so that my name is cleared. I feel relieved that you are not upset. <sighs> well, since I am now suspended... I don't have to come to court. I can rest at home for a while. No, you can't. <laughs> but I'm suspended now. If I still went to court, then people would gossip. Sire, please allow this.
Well, if that's what you want, I won't force you to come. You just got married. Are you satisfied with the marriage that I have arranged for you or not? I've been away fighting for years, and no one cared for my mother. Thank you for arranging this marriage for me, so I won't worry. My new wife is from a family of doctors. She knows medicine, and she can treat us if we feel unwell. I appreciate your kindness, and that of the Queen Mother, as well. I'm glad you like her. Mother said that Princess Chin is quite a beauty. She made a good match. <laughs> I'm grateful to Queen Mother. The Shichou Princess is here now. Shichou won't dare to do anything to us. But there is still Bei Li. Bei Li is good at sending spies into a country and then causing internal chaos. I can't eat or sleep well. Don't worry, sire. I will do my best to help you with this problem. The Crown Prince is far too weak. My other sons aren't of much use without their mothers yet. I can only rely on you for now, brother. Yes. I am a poison expert. I'll dress like a maid and sneak out and then figure out what poison the Minister of Justice and the other officials, which should lead me right to the real murderer. In this way, I'll be able to prove I am qualified to stay by Prince Chin's side. Then after he trusts me later, I will finish my task. Wait for me to come back. <laughs> Why do they just seem to be asleep? Highness, don't you find this suspicious? She smells something different in this room. What smell? <sighs> oh, it... Almost smells like sandalwood. Bodies in a morgue are evidence. The scent of sandalwood would ruin clues on the bodies. They wouldn't use that in here. Then, if the scent isn't from inside the morgue, it means it's from when they were still alive. But it's strange that we could still smell it. The bodies shouldn't smell ten days after being here. Go have a look inside their manners. Pay attention to spices and incense. Yes. They smell just like the Justice Minister. But that minister lost his whole family the same night. That he was murdered, while these two died all alone, which is odd. The Justice's family were all poisoned together in a closed-off chamber, while these two officials were poisoned separately. Yes, it's different. Look into what they ate, drank, and used before they died. Excuse me, sir. Do you know the way to the morgue? Keep going straight and turn left at the first crossing. You can't miss it. Thank you. <laughs> turn left? Hmm? Xi Xiao? Xi Thank you for the masana. Is that you? Hmm? <laughs> You're even more lovely. I hardly <laughs> recognized you. Because of your masana. Since I helped you, how do you like to thank me? 
Uh, I still have something important to do. I'll find you in Botany Valley when I'm done. <laughs> Will you keep your word? The last person I lied to is my benefactor. Besides, I haven't seen White Ear for a while. I miss him. Good. Let's meet later then. Mm. I swear. <laughs> What's a man like you doing in this place? I'm the boss of this shop. <gasps> so you are the boss of the famous floral skincare shop? That's right. Many of the natural flowers and herbs in Botany Valley are very useful to be used in skincare. Wow. Come. <laughs> Though you are already so beautiful, don't forget to take care of your skin. This is a face wash I recently developed. It gently removes impurities, leaving refreshed skin. That's also revitalized. This is for you. Take it. It's so kind of you. Mm. Dinner is on me when I have time later. <laughs> well, I should go. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> My lord, we can't get you close to her in Tianyu. Otherwise, she'll be in danger. I should forget her, and not involve her. Greetings, Your Highness. Rise. I didn't expect that Dr. Han and Dr. Gu will both have to come. Sorry for the trouble. Helping His Majesty. In any way we can, is our duty as officials. I admire your loyalty, Doctor. I heard that you have an experienced apprentice now. Would I have the honor of meeting him? Uh, uh, Highness, perhaps it is someone else. I don't have an apprentice right now. Oh? Oh. I must be thinking of someone else. Carry on, doctors. Highness. My wife is indeed an excellent liar, it seems. Highness, forgive me, I'm a bit late. It's all right. Please have a seat. Mm. Your Highness, you seem quite happy. Did you come to watch Yudza? She's a superb dancer. I've been away for days and missed her a lot. But I came here today to meet with you and express my gratitude. <laughs> no need. Your Highness, I'm happy to help you. No need to thank me. You're too modest. Prince Chen is now the only suspect, and the father took his military power. I'm sure he'll be in jail before very long. He took away all of his power. The deputy prime minister asked to see someone punished. If Mu Ting Wu wasn't so stubborn and slow, Prince Chen would be in jail already. So you had your men suggested, right? Of course. Do you think that was improper? Not really. I just think we'd better lay low in the future. And why is that? You have nothing to do with the murders whatsoever. But if you interfere with the investigation, I'm afraid later, Prince Chin will become suspicious. You are very clever indeed and have great foresight. My uncle gave me the same advice, actually. I'll go back and ask my men to lay low for a while. Here, have a drink. Oh. Stop! Who are you? Uh, please show mercy to me. My late uncle is inside of the morgue. I must claim and bury him. You can't claim my body without proper papers. I know. The justice minister grant those papers. But he's died and no one's taken his post. 
My aunt cried so much that she's fainted and can't handle this. Please have sympathy for my helpless aunt. You can't claim a body without proper papers. Then, can I go in and have a look? Just a look, so then I can tell my aunt. Get out! Leave now! If you don't, I will have to arrest you. I'm leaving. Don't be so rude. Miss.